Hey guys, what's going on? It's Osas from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Monitor. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Google Now launcher onto your GS3. So previously the Google Now launcher was called Google Experience and it was exclusive for the Nexus 5. It still is exclusive for the Nexus 5 technically, but um, I'm just going to be showing you how to download the APKs for both Google Home and Google Search so that you can upgrade to the Google Now launcher. So pretty much those two... Um, APKs that I told you, Google Home and Google Search, both those links are available in the full tutorial, so you're going to check those out. You're going to download them onto your device, and then wherever you save it, you're going to go to that, or you're just going to open it from the, the download. Go to download, you see that I have Google Home and then Google Search right here. You click on both APKs and install them. Now, I did have a, a weird issue with um, Google Now. I'm sorry, with the Google Search APK. And if you do run into that, you can just go into the Play Store and um, install it from there and see if that actually updates to the latest version. That's probably the easiest way to do it. And then once you do that, you can go back and then you can select the launcher. So you just hit the Home button. Um, your options will show up. You're just going to hit Google Now. You can hit Always or Just Once. Um, and then you can select that. So I'll just do just one so I can go back and forth and show you the differences. As you can see, pretty much all of my apps <clears throat> have been organized into their new smart folders. So if you go to Google, you can see that that's the Google smart folder. We go over here, and these are the, just the normal Google apps. Now the rest of my apps will be inside of the app drawer. And as you can see, it looks a little different. The background is actually a lot darker. And if you notice up top, the um, taskbar is transparent. So instead of having the black bar with all the information, it's just transparent and it matches your whatever your background is. Um, so let's just go back and I can I can you can better see exactly what I was talking about. So just once here you can see taskbar is black. I have about five pages, um, and then the apps and widgets here you can see that my background is a lot more um, apparent compared to last time with a darker app background. Um, you can also do the Google search. So if I say, OK, Google, it doesn't do anything. But with the Google Now launcher, obviously named after Google Now, I can say, OK, Google, <clears throat> and it'll search. So I'll go, OK, Google, search for cheeseburgers. And you can see how that works. It'll search for you, and that's probably like that's the coolest thing about the Google Now is the the um, hands-free search feature. So that's also just embedded into the um, Google Now launcher, so you won't have to do any extra fandangling or anything. And any homepage that you're on, you can do it. So you can be here, you can be wherever. As long as you're on the homepage, you can say "OK Google," and it'll launch. As you can see right now, it doesn't launch just because I'm in the app drawer. Um, so those are really the main differences. You can see that the Google Hangouts and then um, Google Chrome are added to the bottom. The app drawer icon is a little different, but it's just a lot cleaner. And you'll see that my widgets are gone. So if I want to add widgets, I can just click here, and you can see widgets. <clears throat> It'll take me here. And then I can add widgets as I normally would. Um, wallpaper, same thing. I can do that from there. Um, and that's really it. And you saw the settings as well. That's the settings for not your device, but for the Google Now. And that's it. So you can turn Google Now on and off. So if I turn it on, it'll say, yes, I'm in, whatever. Of course, you can say, yes, I'm in. You can choose your account. And then we can go back to the home page. And if you swipe to the left, once you have um, enabled Google Now, it'll take you to the Google Now screen. Nope. So, again, all those things are baked in. You can enable Google Now, and so if you swipe to the left, you'll be taken automatically to the Google Now um, page. Where it'll show you places nearby and all the other Google Now um, tricks and treats. So that's really it. That's the Google Now launcher. It's obviously free. Um, all you need is those two APKs that are in the full tutorial. So just make sure to check that out and check out the full guide. And um, any questions, just leave them in the comment section. And also just make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.